Hello everyone, it's Bluff 5 here, and I am recording episode 8 of my Let's Play series. So let's get into it. I'm recording a lot of videos at the moment. Very odd. And the reason I had that massive break is I went to the beach and all that stuff, so that's the reason there weren't any of my videos for three or four days. Alright. Uh, what are we going to do today? Oh yeah, we were going to fix the bees. I think I figured out what the problem was. And we're also going to fix up my farm. Alright. Let's do all-round genetics today. And we'll do a bit more Thorncraft research. Yeah. Sounds cool. That's busy. Alright, where's our Thormic AP? I mean, not Thormic. Oh yeah, mushrooms grow on sand. We don't need to do it. Yep, yeah, so you, um, we decided, needed a mushroom to work. And I think the one... I'll bring some sand with me. So I don't think there's any sand down there. And the bee down in the swamp needed a cactus, I think, because it might have gotten some genes of the modest ones since we've been breeding them together. That's my theory. I, th I think it could be true. I mean, all right, there you go. Now you're working. Does that count as a flower for you? No. Okay. Will you work when I take you out and put you back in? Yep, looks like you're working now. Yeah. Are you? Are you working? Or are you going to quit out on me? Yep, looks like you're working. Okay, cool. You do that then. Alright. But we're going to have to wait till night time to plant a mushroom for the other one. So, yeah. And our frames have unfortunately almost run out, but they're not actually that expensive to make more, which is nice. But, you, well, they're kind of wood-consuming, but not that expensive. You need an entire log just to make one of them. But they're not expensive. Wait, how are you going? Okay, so... We need to make, with my pocket crafter, some more s Wow. Oh, cool. You can shift-click stuff out of the pocket crafter. Oh, that's good. Uh, I'm going to make some more crops. So I can go to that. Oh, also, where is my hoe? Because I need to re-hoe that grass that the weeds unhoed. Yeah, and I turned some of my diamonds into the diamond pickaxe. Where is my hoe? Do I even have it anymore? Did it break or something? Nope, there it is. Oh, it's getting to be night time. I'm going to be crossbreeding these two again. Okay, that's all that done. Oh yeah, it's night time so we can plant that mushroom. Because you kind of have to plant mushrooms at night. I guess. They don't like light. Mushrooms are really kind of funky to plant and all that. Oh, I bet it's because of this. Um, lighting up now is it this building yeah oh um yeah there we go perfect ow 
Oh, is it dark enough now? Oh, I used to. Can you not? Can you not plant mushrooms at night anymore? This is how it used to work. If you wanted to make like a mushroom farm, you'd have to do it at night because they don't like the light. Oh, that's that's annoying. Oh, maybe it has, just has to be covered or something. Yeah, that's covered, right? Give me slot seven. No, right. Oh, we're lagging. No, it's not working for some reason. Oh, how are we going to get this guy a mushroom then? We can't move him to the swamp. He doesn't like swampy environments. This could be a problem. Do we, do we need, like, mycelium or something? Oh. No, that won't work. And she's not going to die in this environment. Right, the only possible thing I can think of is to move her to the edge of the desert where she's near enough some mushrooms inside the swamp. That's all I can think of to do. Okay. Use a pick on apiaries even though they're made out of wood, don't you? I've never figured out why. Alright, come on, going for a ride, Mrs. Bee Queen thing. Hmm. Right, this is still desert. Um, this is desert, desert. There aren't any mushrooms at the edge of this. Oh, here we go, this might work. Will you live here? How's that? You working? I mean, you've got... I just... Some mushrooms down there. I think she's working. Yeah, I think she is. Okay. Really? Really? Where do my cactus go? Oh, you don't use cactus anymore, do you? How's this one going? You're producing parched comb as well as mossy comb. That's interesting. That's interesting. Oh, now what am I going to do with you? Will you work in the swamp? I doubt it, but I guess it's worth a try. Can you live in the swamp? Well, if I find a mushroom close enough to the edge, this might work over here. in there. So I think that these bees have become so interbred that they're actually starting to like behave like each other which is kind of weird. You working now? There's a mushroom just down here so it should be. But it might be a little bit too far away. I'll go get some cactus for when you turn into a cactus liking bee again. And then I'll come back for her to see if she's lost her appetite. Okay, then we're going to be doing a little bit of Thorncraft research. And I want to get some other things built that I will keep a secret. Here we go, it's a cactus. 
Remember when harvesting cactus for like a farm, always chop them down at the bottom because otherwise pieces can be destroyed by other pieces. So we'd have you chuck a block of cobbles, well a block of stone into a cactus, it'll be destroyed. Seems a little odd to me. All right. There we go. So you should be able to use that cactus when you turn cactus. Okay, still no flowers. I thought that had been close enough. If I pick it up, can I plant more in this swamp? Within No, I can't plant more within the swamp. Okay. Right, experiment. Well, I know, you don't work in a swamp, but mushrooms are in a swamp, so I'm in kind of a dilemma here. I just need to find... That's perfect. Maybe that mushroom is definitely close enough. Bring the cactus with me too. Let's go. Here we go. Now if this isn't close enough, I'll eat my own face. Wait, what? Well, I don't want to block update them. That, yeah, that should be good. All right. All right, here we go. Um, put the cactus down for when it turns cactusy again. Right. Okay, so do you like it here? You can't see the sun. Okay, that's not great. But where'd the other frame go? Maybe it broke. I don't know. Seriously, where'd the other frame go? Oh. I'm not even tall enough to get there. What building blocks do I have on me? I have eight cobblestone. That should do nicely. By the way, to place stuff on an apiary without opening up its inventory, you hold shift while you're clicking on it. There we go. Sky should no longer be obstructed. Where when you break um, apiaries, it has kind of a TNT thing going on. All right, you're working, you're working, okay. You actually working or are you just being annoying again? Go over back here to see if I left the frame back here and I'll come back to see if it's not liking its current environment. But I'll go check on the other one as well. See, he's producing both combs now, so they really are very intermingled now. Hopefully I can get some things called common drones when they die, which are like a different breed of bee that you get by breeding these two together. Maybe it doesn't like mushrooms, because, yeah, that that's way too close for it to not like mushrooms. Maybe it's actually looking for flowers. When it says no flowers, it doesn't necessarily mean flowers, but maybe it is actually meaning flowers this time. All right, can I find a flower? Maybe because there are the th my theory of why that would be is because common bees, the ones that you get by breeding them together, they like flowers also. They do not like cactus, they like actual flowers. So maybe, maybe, it's like part common and it needs flowers instead of cactus or mushrooms. That could be true. Some sugar cane over there. No flowers. Really, no flowers. Oh no, there's one up there. There's a dandelion up there. So 
weird how we call roses roses in Minecraft because they're red and they're actually called roses. Dandelions aren't actually called dandelions. They're called, just called flowers. Look, I'll show you. Flower. Alright, let's head back. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, we have spent almost half this episode fixing our bees. Jeez, I really want to get onto my other stuff. Let's see if this flower works. And if it doesn't, I'm lost. I don't know why it isn't. We might just have to get a new modest bee. I really hope not. I know I have a flower farm that only produces dye. It doesn't produce actual flowers. Where should I plant it? There looks good. Will you work now? Right, that's every kind of flower I can think of. It's got mushrooms, it's got cactus. Oh no, no, that of its own accord it stopped saying no flowers. Looks like she might be working now. Yay! Now is this one dead yet? Because I'd like it if this one was dead. Because I'm going to have to die so you can, yes, see, commons. Yeah, they're starting to become more and more common. I might save some of these common drones just to in case I get a common princess so I can start breeding commons because commons are really really cool and useful. Do flowers die at night time? No they don't. Well yeah you don't work at daytime. Okay. Okay let's just try doing this. We'll put in our marshy not common and see what we get. Please be a common queen. Common queen, common queen. Mush queen. Oh well. Let's go home and sleep. Oh, actually, I need to do this to stop monsters spawning everywhere. Right, I'm going to sleep, I'm going to wake up, and I'm going to cut. And I'll come back once I've decided what to do next, although I do have a pretty good idea. Okay, I've decided what to do. I'm going to actually make this thing called a centrifuge, which will actually let us process those honeycombs that we're getting. So I'm cooking up some bronze. Well, I'm cooking up some copper to turn into bronze. Uh, what else will we need? We will need redstone because we need a piston. All right, that's next on the list. We need iron for the piston. What else do we need? Oh, we need six more copper for the centrifuge, and we're going to need some cobblestone as well. We're going to need eight. Eleven. We're going to need eleven, I think. That's not eleven. But I can just go like this. There we go. And what else are we going to need? We're going to need wood as usual. Always low on wood as usual. That didn't make sense as usual. Then get some copper, which is good. Okay, let's go get some wood. 
So how many of the woods will we need? We only need one log. There we go. Just one log. Yeah, okay. And a piece of glass also. Just gonna dig up some sand with a book. Also, as you can see, I have not done any Thorncraft research off camera, so I still only have the Nitor and the Tallow, although if I can, I will be doing more today. If I can. So what we're building, what, what we're building exactly is we are building a Sterling engine. And a centrifuge. Not a centrifuge extractor, that's something different, just a centrifuge. Alright, let's start with the gears. So we need to make wooden gears by putting kind of a diamond shape of six. Then we need to go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, to make them stone gears. Oh, what I didn't account for was the wood for the piston. All the cobbles don't get this done. Right, we need... Duh! Let's use the cherry wood. I'm tired of going out and getting wood. Right, what can we do? You can't really do anything until smelting's done. Oh yeah, we can actually make some of this. Why did we get... The... From smelting this ore, we got red power copper. That's weird. Without smelting factorization copper ore, you get red power copper ingots. That's very odd. I, I wouldn't have thought that. Alright, now let's see if this recipe works or if NEI lied. If the recipe works, NEI is telling the truth. Right, so I'm getting eight bronze because I'm going to make kind of a ring of bronze, like a hollow square. I have this thing called a sturdy casing. And we're all, oh, we're also going to need two more glass for the actual centrifuge. We need one for the uh, sterling engine and then we need two for the centrifuge. And we're also going to need a lever, and it's just going to be really hard to get. Okay. Right, piston with three cobblestone on the top, stone gears on the side. Oh, yeah, I should have been using my project table. Always use a project table and you're doing a project. Right, so a piston with glass and two of these gears and then, yeah, when we give us a sterling engine. Now we need to pick out a nice building for this, actually no, not, not yet. Right, so glass plus glass plus red power copper for some reason and a sturdy casing <clears throat> will give us the centrifuge. Cool, now all we need is a lever and some coal coke. Or coal, but I'm going to use coal coke because it's more efficient. Okay. There is a way to make coal coke. You just put coal, regular coal, into the coke oven. Now which building should I take over and call B Central? 
Not the church. That's my Thorncraft building. Church is too small. Oh, we've got a breed in between the roses and dandelions. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Looks like there is not a suitable building. I will do it in my house for the meantime. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. This is kind of my bead area in my house. Okay. Centrifuge. Plus the Sterling engine. And a lever. And you have to be careful with these Sterling engines. They can explode. Right. Put some fuel in it. Pull the lever. That's all you do. And it will start to pump away. And it will make power to power the centrifuge. But, as I said, it will explode if it does not have any work to do. Right, now what you do with the centrifuge is you get your honeycombs, actually. And you put your honeycombs in it. And it will process them into honey and beeswax too see we got honey and beeswax so we'll leave that to process for a while in fact do i have the resource in fact it's night time so we'll sleep and i accidentally gave myself 64 bronze when trying to look up the recipe but I got rid of that bronze. All right. Um, also, what was it? Oh, yeah, the hopper. Do I have the resources to make one? Oh, it's not that expensive at all. I thought it would be way more expensive than that. That's cheap. We want... No, we do not have any iron lying around. Right, we need five iron. Can't wait to get a better furnace. Right, what can we use to fuel it? Can you burn stairs? I think you can. Yes, you can. I'll burn a lot. Right. So how's this working? Oh yay, we're getting honey drops. Right, honey drops are somehow edible. I can't remember how you eat them, but you can. And uh, beeswax is actually very, very useful. Alright, I'll show you how. Put three bees... Well, you can make it into pipe waterproofing. Three beeswax like that. Makes these things called wax capsules. And I think this is how you make the honey. I think you can put the honey in the capsules. No, wait. I'll search it up. How do you make a honey can? Honey. Okay, first of all, what can you do with honey? I did not mean to give myself a piece of honey. I meant to look up the recipe for it. Right. Yeah, the recipe of honey. All right, the recipe of honey, the only way to get it is to centrifuge it from the 39 combs available. But what can you do with it? Right, you can make honey crystals, you can make catalysts. Yeah, I'm not interested in those ones. Uh, catalyst, catalyst. You can make it into glistening melon. Oh, yeah, honeyed slice. Yeah, that's what I'll be looking for. Oh, you need four for a honey pot. Okay. And honey pots are edible, but honey slice is like a super food. It's amazing. <coughs> where You need bread for it? Do I have any bread? I will. I think I've always thought you should have to grind wheat into flour and then smelt the wheat to make bread, but you don't for some reason. Don't have enough honey yet. Yet. Yeah, I do have enough honey yet. This stuff is like this is a super food. It's super duper. Oh, we're quite near the wrapping up point, actually. In fact, we're probably at it. So I think this has been a reasonably productive day. I'm just going to quickly go. In fact, I'm going to give it something to chew while I go. Chew on those mossy combs while I'm gone. All right. 
I don't want it to run out. Because if it runs out of things to process, but the engine is still running, it has a chance to explode. And I do not want it to explode, because they explode quite largely, actually. I think the Stirling engine is as powerful as TNT, and there's this thing called the combustion engine, which is as powerful as about 5 TNT. So, yeah. Not nice. Oh, here we go. Alright, we got a modest princess from a dead marshy bee. Okay, that's interesting. I don't want our modest, I mean, our marshy brats to die out completely. That wouldn't be very good. Is that one still running? No, it should be dead. Modest. Alright, oh yeah, we've still got some marshies in the mix, but no marshy princess. Okay. Uh, let's go modest princess plus a common drone. What did we get? And it looks like our, flame, our frames have run out. Modest. Okay. One day we'll get lucky. Alright. Come on. Modest. Oh, yeah, you can't live here, can you? Well, that's a problem. You're going to have to relocate this apiary. In fact, no. No, I will not. I am going home to wrap up the episode. And tomorrow, I'm going to be... Hope I'll no, I won't. Wait, uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be building... A new apiary, hopefully. Or the devices to build a new apiary. You need, like, three machines to build a new apiary. Yeah, I think you do actually need three machines. Wait, you need the squeeze of the... No, you only need two machines. That's all a lot. Right, queen, the modest queen. Go in there. And we have some drones. Okay. Anyway, wrapping up the episode, guys. Oh, just check on this. Yeah. Lots of honey and lots of beeswax. Alright, bye guys.